Reds here. I am back from vacation. In case you were wondering, I am back and ready to rumble. We're showing bowlers and miners today. It's going to be awesome. Anyways, enjoy and clash on. Welcome. Well, we have today bowlers and miners at the Town Hall 10 level. There are three different attacks I'm going to show you and how to crack a base. And this is a pretty cool uh, attack here. Uh, haven't seen it much use. Uh, so uh, maybe a semi new strategy, but uh, kind of playing with the idea of using uh, about 10 or uh, 11 or 12 bowlers and then the rest miners and doing a queen walk at that. So this is a very difficult base, max defensive wise, except for my heroes. So awesome stuff. Let's get into it. How do you take down Town Hall 10 bases using this strategy? Now, the key, of course, is to take down the Inferno Towers and as much as you can with the Bowlers. Uh, preferably a couple Expos at that, and if you obviously the, the Clan Castle, and you know it would definitely help to take down some Queen or King as well, uh, because Miners really get stuck on the, those uh, uh, units. Why did this fail? this first attack well uh i think a little too early on the miners uh and because the miners were taken by that single target i mean the multi-target before the bullers could get to it so the bullers really didn't do their work before the miners came in so make sure to get those uh the single target down first then bring in the miners uh, those little things just add up uh, and just wasn't able to get this attack because the mul other multi inferno there uh was not taken down uh, by the miners uh, at that so he, the queen did still stay alive and she still has her ability plus the healers are on her but the problem is that um, uh, the, the miners didn't do uh, what they needed to do uh, because the first phase of the attack the bowlers failed so what makes this attack work in my opinion the first phase of the attack is the most important so the king the queen and the bowlers now it's important to note you need to have the king really tank for the bowlers as they go into the core of the base because the bowlers are kind of weak they don't have much going on for them there's no healers on the bowlers it's just a, kind of a straight up uh, attack this was almost a success though even with that great fail i mean kind of not a, the greatest attack he got 97 percent. that's pretty good he would have gotten 100 percent if he just brought some cleanup troops um I, you know scratch some of those uh he doesn't need all those minor i mean not miners those uh all those wall breakers he doesn't need all those wall breakers uh but he does have the game plan here going so that's key now why here, here's the second attack this one didn't go so well because look at this the king went around the base unfortunato for him and once that happened uh it was just all she wrote the problem is that dope that giant bomb hit the uh bowlers the king didn't really tank as much as needed uh because he kind of circled the base just a little bit and, and that really made the difference and as you notice the air defense locked on to the healer so a lot of different things you know you can't plan certain attacks uh, certain things just go wrong the AI doesn't work out uh, so you know sometimes it goes well sometimes it doesn't uh, obviously this is a fail the Queen did not survive so much damage going on now you don't want to be too late on the miners mind you uh, if you're too late on the miners they're kind of caught by themselves so you want to just plan it kind of perfectly uh, to let the bowlers do their work and then bring in the miners at the pr proper time. Now here we go. Here is the success. Now a lot of people would come in from the Inferno Tower um, where the heroes are because you want to take down the heroes. But he knew where my Tesla farm is, so he's going to come in on that side. Obviously, if you don't know where the Tesla farm is, you would have no idea where to come in on this base. You would probably come in towards the hero side or maybe towards the south or north. This time he's using the queen up top. Now, mind you, keep this in mind. I think when you use this strategy, let's pause it down. You want to have the queen take the damage from the expos and as much defense as possible. I realize for the success of this attack, the queen is like a golem. You have to treat the queen like a golem um, before you drop the king. He was a little bit early on the king, so he the king is taking quite a bit of damage. But as you know, the expo is locked on to the queen. That is very critical. Those little that extra time saved um, 
really makes a difference. So let's pause it down one more time. He dropped a jump spell. Now he's going to bring in the miners towards the north and some towards the south as well, uh, bringing in kind of a, a bow structure. He put more to the north. Obviously, he needs the north to take down that other inferno tower. But look at this. He's got tons of bowlers left because really the queen was able to tank early on um, and save the king just a, a, you know that hair and save some of the bowlers. Uh, he did that know there was double giant bombs there so obviously when you're attacking a base for the first time you won't know where the double giant bombs are so he was able to use that heal spell right at the opportune moment and saved his life so those little things obviously added up because you got to do attack this base three times um, but obviously when you're doing miners try to pinpoint where those double giant bombs are and that's where you put the heal spells uh, because if you don't heal your um, miners with the double giant bombs it's not going to go so well. Uh, yes, the queen is still alive. Very powerful stuff here. The queen stayed alive. She, um, The healers luckily stayed on her and didn't drift off too far away from her. And because she stayed alive, the three star was able to get uh, done. He did have enough min miners to get the rest of the defenses, but the queen obviously helped with the cleanup which is very critical at that. Anyways, there you go, guys. Uh, a cool attack. Try it out. Um, I think bowlers and miners together work well. Make sure you use the queen as a tanking unit as much as possible before you get it down. Again, that's the real key when you're using this strategy. And have fun at it, guys. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. And as always, Halo 